hurts. I got some injections, my face hurts, okay? Being on camera and talking to a camera in my studio is just so weird for me right now because I haven't done it for almost half the year. So I probably like forgot how to be a YouTuber and everything. Not like I really knew how to be. So I know that a lot of you guys are not watching The Bachelorette and I, <laughs> my Instagram story rant the other day, I was uh, talking with a lot of you guys in my DMs and I apparently inspired you guys to watch it. So that's what today is gonna be all about. I am gonna just do my makeup while we're talking about uh, the Bachelorette, and I'm not really gonna tell you what I'm using just because I don't want to interrupt my flow and my chatting. So I have watched episode one and episode two so far, and I am like not the best person. Like this isn't gonna be like a recap, like in order. This isn't gonna be like I know everyone's name in there because I really honestly just don't pay. I don't really pay quite that much attention. So I like, the other day I had to get on my Instagram stories because I was just so irritated by Claire. So when um, they announced that Tasha was gonna be The Bachelor, I actually can't stand Tasha either. I might change my opinion, but when she was on, I think she was on Colton season. There's probably gonna be a lot of things I say wrong in this video too, because like I didn't fact check anything. So it was just me like talking. So if you don't like the way that I do my makeup, you don't like my tattoos, you don't like the way I sound, you don't like The Bachelor, this is probably not the video for you. So um, just, just move along. Uh, so I think she was on Colton season. I'm almost positive. Anyways, I, I couldn't stand her then. And I think a lot of it was her voice too. People's voices just bug me. Like, I don't know, like some people's voices. My voice actually kind of bugs me. It's like when you sit here and you edit your videos, for so long you have to listen to yourself over and over and over again. When they were announcing that Bachelorette was coming back, I was excited because it is one of those weekly things that I get excited to watch. I pretty much hold myself up in my house and I work all week and I don't really get out a lot. Like I finally last night took my ass to a nice sushi dinner and sat at the bar because I didn't have, I haven't been out of the house in like three days. Okay, we're gonna actually, I did wanna show you guys this because this is Nikki Tutorial's new palette with Who's this with? Okay, literally Beauty Bay has no branding on this palette at all, except for the tiniest writing down here where it says Beauty Bay. Pretty awesome anyways. I'm gonna go in with some of the warmer tones and stuff, I think. Where was I? So they announced that it was gonna be, they were gonna be starting it and I was like excited because I was like, okay, great. The one thing that I get to look forward to, my friend Barb and I always like go back and forth and talk about everything that's going on. And then I heard that she, is being replaced by Tasha because I heard that Claire was uh, passing the torch to Tasha because Claire was dating someone and I was or like fell in love or something. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. Like, I don't really like Tasha either. So it was kind of a bummer. And I was excited at the fact that Claire is like older. I don't mean like older. Like to me, like an old person is like 75. Like that's old to me these days. I was like, I think it's really cool that there's gonna be someone, you know, I keep saying she's 36 in my Instagram story, but she's actually 39. Um, so I was like, this is gonna be cool. Like there's someone that's a, like a little bit older because I feel like a lot of the recent Bachelorette and Bachelor seasons have just been full of children that literally are too young. Like some people it works, okay, it does. Some people it works to get married young and you know, that's what you do. And, and But it's very rare. Like it is very rare for you to meet your soulmate when you were in your early 20s. Like it does happen. I'm not saying that it doesn't, but I don't recommend getting married that young. I got married when I was, I got engaged when I was 23, got married when I was 24, and that was just too early even for me. Sometimes it works, a lot of times it doesn't. So anyways, I was like, I think this is great that they're finally getting someone that's like not a baby, understands what they want in life and has had the experience enough to know what a red flag is and what it isn't. So I was really surprised to see that they had already filmed, like when I sat down to watch the first episode of The Bachelorette, I was like, wait a second, I was expecting it to be just like Claire maybe on a couch, uh, with Chris being like, yeah, I fell in love over quarantine, this is him, blah, 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 passing the torch. But no, they actually filmed part of her season. And then I was like, this bitch fell in love in like two months. You're 39, you, you should know better than that. Like in two months over quarantine. Oh my gosh. And you still had the audacity to film. So I was like, oh, this is gonna, I already can't stand her. Like, why did you, first of all, 
I would have still filmed if I were her and that had happened to me. I still would have given everyone a chance on The Bachelorette. I mean, it's easy to say when I'm not in, the sh in her shoes, so I'll just say that. But if you're gonna do it, like do it. Film the entire thing and see where it takes you. Like why would you deny yourself the opportunity to meet and hang out with all of these men because you think you already know exactly what you want. I would be like, sorry dude, like sure, we may have fallen in love, that might be what this is, but like I have a commitment, I made a commitment, all these people are here, we're gonna see this through to the very end. And if you don't like that, then I guess we're not meant to be, you know? The first episode, and by the way, I'm gonna kinda jump around between the two episodes because I feel like I need to actually film these the moment after I am done watching because my emotions are so real and so raw in that moment and I forget things by the time I like, I'm like, okay, well, I'll wait till I film with a makeup tutorial. It's probably more interesting to watch, but if it's all right with you guys, I think I'm just gonna film, like set up my vlog camera, like literally right after or even film on commercial breaks and hit pause and like give my thoughts because It'll be a little more organized and I feel like a little more like in the moment, like what just happened? You know, um, I couldn't stand Claire's voice from the get go. I actually hadn't really heard much of it until I sat down to watch The Bachelorette and I was like, Ugh. after the first episode and like kind of during that episode, I was realizing a pattern with her. I think that so many people and apparently it's like an unpopular opinion that like Claire's not amazing because I read a lot of DMs from people that were like, you're like one of the only people that doesn't like her. And I'm like, really? But what I felt from her was like her vibe was truly the opposite, I feel like, of what she was trying to portray. And what I mean by that is there was a common occurrence. It was her putting men in her place and is still her putting men in their place and just trying to portray this strong, powerful, you know, woman. And unfortunately, I think she's literally the opposite of everything she's trying to portray. I think, you know, what I see is a very insecure, unsure, scared woman who's doing what she thinks. I think that so many people hyped her up to be on this show and was like, yeah, you're so strong and powerful. Like put those men in their place. Like you're 39, you got this girl. Like I feel like so many people, like 52, 52 many people like said that to her. And so that's what she feels like she has to portray. And I understand a feeling like you have to portray something specific. Shit, I went through a whole marriage trying to pretend I was happy on the internet and it just wasn't happening. Anyways, I just, I think she's obnoxious. I think she is very insecure, truly. And I don't think that she's really anything that she's trying to make it look like she is on camera. I think that she is kind of like, like I get it, like you're a strong, powerful woman, like put people in their place, like when it's deserved, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, like the amount of times that she's putting men in their place, she kind of just seems a little cunty. Like, you know what I mean? Like I. She also said on one of her dates to one of the guys um, that I think it was the guy where they were screaming and I think it was on episode two. Um, she like even said that she's not afraid of anything. And like, I saw the cracks before, but the cracks just keep getting deeper and bigger. And like, that was another one for me. I was like, you're not afraid of anything, huh? So now you're not fucking human. So you're, you're just gonna lie to our faces and to this guy's face and say, you're not afraid of anything. Like I'm a strong, powerful woman too, but I'm afraid of a lot of shit. Like I'm afraid of a lot of stuff. So like, can we just all be honest here? Like you're definitely afraid of some shit. So I don't know, maybe it's one of those things you just, you're talking when you're on camera and like you slip up and you say something that doesn't make sense. But I don't know, I was kind of just like, wow, you're not afraid of anything? Like that is just, wow, that's, that's something new for a human, honestly. <laughs> Good job. Hats off to you for not being afraid of anything because I'm afraid of this makeup look turning out like shit right now. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> I'm afraid of color matching my foundation. Okay, I'm afraid of that. You know the vibe I get from <laughs> Claire? Do you know bridesmaids like when um, uh, Kristen Wiig is like on the plane, she's like, oh, you do? And she's like standing. <laughs> 
So Ben was the first guy out of the limo and he was actually really hot. Did we like ever see him again? I feel like we didn't. Um, I also thought it was really interesting how immediately when Dale comes out, she was like, come over here, whatever she said, like her whole voice like <laughs> changed into like something completely like a chipmunks. Um, and then like later she was like, complaining about the guys like oh you can if you like i'm sorry if you can pick up on my like, and dale's like connection or whatever i'm like what, whatever she said i was just like uh oh yeah so she said something like like oh like everyone's picking up my connection with like dale it's because i like him no bitch it's because you dated him but i think i don't even know if it was him but i'm just guessing like no it's because you dated him when before you had even started filming the bachelorette like what that's why people are picking up in your great connection like again another lie like she just seems like so dishonest to me like how do you even stand like i can't even lie that well man i'm like that's good that's like that's another level yeah like they did they picked up on your weird connection because you were freaking dating the guy before you even started the show so stop with the charades we all know what's up I kind of can't stand Jason. He's the guy that walked out of the limo. The only reason I know this is because I literally looked at everyone's names before I sat down to film because I didn't remember a single one except for Yosef because he's a narcissist gaslighting. He was a guy that came out with a pregnant stomach. I just thought it was like really bizarre. Like she always talks about how sad and like disappointing and blah, blah, blah that season was. And then here you are thinking it's a good idea to come out in a pregnant stomach to remind her of that season? Like, why? Why are we trying to remind her of a season she didn't like? I also thought it was really interesting when she was like, I've waited too long, like so long for you guys to be broing out, like when the guys were all like having a good time or whatever. I kind of missed that because I was like on my phone a little bit, but I just like was like, whoa, you have the audacity to come up here and say that you have waited so long for people to be broing out. Like how about the fact that they've waited too long for you to be dating someone secretly for two months or whatever before you even started filming. And then you had the audacity to come on the show still and like fake it for a little bit and then you dropped out. Like that's that's how dumb you are. So during, while I was like watching um, the second episode, I popped over to her Instagram because I just had to see like what it was all about. Um, and one of the last mm, pictures that she posted, um, so she, there's a picture of her like this with like her, like a ring on her ring finger and she, cause I guess she's been like spotted out. By the way, don't leave any spoilers in the comments, please. Like I, this is like my one thing to do each week, like by myself with a glass of wine and I would really appreciate it. I'm sure everyone else would really appreciate it. You don't leave any spoilers. If you know stuff, just keep it to yourself, please. Um, so anyway, she was seen out with like a ring or whatever. And I was just like, read the caption and she said something like, oh, I always wear this ring on my, this is my impression of her. I always wear this ring on my ring finger because it's a promise to myself. Lol, well, like some bullshit like that. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, no wonder why you have been single for so long. If you're walk, if it's true and you're walking around with a fucking wedding ring on your ring, Finger, like of course all the good dudes are gonna just fuck off because like why would they come ask you out if you have a ring on your finger? Brandon is also, so Brandon's the dude that all he could come up with when she was like, why are you here? Is that she was pretty. I'm like, I feel two ways about that guy. Like, I don't know. First of all, he was super awkward and like should have had a better response than that. Like maybe he's just nervous and not good on camera. I don't know. But at the same time, like, he had a good point, like why would he know a lot about her? Like if he knew enough to know what she looks like though, maybe he should have done like a little bit of research like about her, you know? Um, like I appreciate your strength to come back on here. Like that's not something you really, like you don't need to know a lot about her to like know that and to say that. I feel like as I get older, it's harder and harder and harder to blend eyeshadow on my fucking old eyelids. I'm just gonna put that out there. I, 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 don't, I don't really feel like that was like a reason to like let him go home. Like she just like, again, like her little cunty attitude just comes out and she just like, I don't know. It's just like, I just, oh yeah. I just like see right through it. You know what I mean? Like then like with Tyler and Yosef, like 
I actually really liked him. He sounds like he reminds me of Matthew McConaughey a lot, but I was kind of bummed out that he went home for sharing that information. Like she wasn't able to tell if he was lying or not. And like, as you see, as the second episode goes on, Yosef is like a lying sack of turds. So I cannot stand him. And I was really bummed that the country boy went home because I actually really liked him. I think that he sounded and seemed like a good guy. Although he kind of reminded me a little bit of Jed because I did, oh my gosh, I didn't contour my schnoz. Freaking highlight. I gotta tell you what this is. Ofra makes like literally the best highlighters in the world. This is like Blissful Pillow Talk and Rodeo Drive. So I used these two which is Blissful and Pillow Talk. Um, I'm not quite tan enough for the other one, but I love this little highlight palette because it's so lightweight. I actually um, have a discount code for them if you guys ever want to get any of their products, but their highlights, like if you get nothing else, get their highlights. Their highlights are, or highlighters are like so bomb. Let's talk about the scene where she asked everybody to Strip down to jock straps. Imagine if that were flipped. And if I'm not mistaken, last season, all the girls did strip down to lingerie and they did like a pillow fight or some stupid shit like that. If Bachelor franchise actually decided to have plus size people ever on their show, would they still allow everyone to strip down? I'm just curious because I feel like it's just bullshit. Like why is it okay to ask all these men to strip down? Like she's like, oh, I make the rules. Like if a dude had said that, I feel like that would be treated a lot differently and they'd get a lot of shit. And if I'm not mistaken, which I very well could be, I'm wrong a lot, but <laughs> They got a lot of shit for it last year too with the with the um with the uh lingerie. I just don't know why it's okay to have people completely stripped down and get naked on TV like that. Like I the sexualization going on in mainstream media and on TV right now is not okay. This mascara, I want to show you guys my two favorite mascaras because they're the cheapest ones you could possibly get. This is NYX Worth the Hype and On the Rise. These two mascaras are my absolute favorite. Okay, so the date with the guy whose name I can't remember, how she like brought her dress from Juan Pablo's season, but was trying to act like she was, like it didn't matter to her, but yet she kept that same dress for five years. <laughs> like, I just think it's so weird that she like kept that dress and then brought it on a date with her. Like, I'm sorry, but what kind of guy like wants to be reminded of some other guy that you dated and slept with? So anyways, um, it is quite entertaining. However, I just like can't wait until she is not on here anymore, but I also don't really like Tasha. So the few of you that did say that you like Tasha, though, I would like to know like why you like Tasha. Um, because I just, what am I missing? What am I missing here? Help me, fill me in. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say was like, did she seriously give her dog wine? All right, guys, that is it. I'm ready. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go film uh, an enclosure build right now with uh, I think also on Tuesday, because the new day for Bachelor is apparently Tuesday. I didn't even know that. But um, I think I'm going to film, like I said, with my vlog camera, just like on my coffee table and just film in the middle and pause it when I have something to say. Because trying to remember everything like a week later is almost just like too much for my brain. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, also, I, I want to hear your thoughts about, like, I talked to a lot of you on my DMs, but it was so entertaining. Like, Drop all of your opinions below about Claire and the season and the guys. Like, are any of the guys interesting to you at all? Like, I honestly don't think we have any good ones. Like, maybe Dale. There was another funny guy that I really liked whose name I can't remember. I'll, I'll put him on screen because I, I can't remember his name, but I did like him. But other than that, not much going on. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. I can't wait to read those. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh.
my gosh, I just saw this club coming out the bottom of the door and I just got so freaked out, like for no reason. Okay, all right, I'll, I'm gonna go sit down now, bye.